Chapter 9 Alcohols, Class, Life Sciences, Part 2 Classes of Alcohols, Isomers, and Some Physical Properties. At the end of the session, students should be able to identify the classes of alcohols, write the isomers of an alcohol specify some physical properties of alcohol. Four classes of alcohol. We have three classes of alcohol. According to the number of alkyl group connected to the functional carbon, we have said that the functional carbon is the carbon holding the hydroxyl group in case of alcohols. Alcohols are classified into three classes. Alkyl group is the group formed of carbon and hydrogen. First class is primary alcohols. The functional carbon is connected to one alkyl group, that means to one group of carbon and hydrogen. This is the functional carbon. The carbon holding the hydroxyl group is called functional carbon. This functional carbon is connected to one alkyl group, to one group of carbon and hydrogen. Then this alcohol is primary. This is the general formula of primary alcohols, RCH2OH. R could be hydrogen, just hydrogen, then CH3, OH is a primary alcohol, could be CH3, C2H5, and so on. Example, 1 propanol, CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. In this case, this is the functional carbon with the hydroxyl group. This is our CH3, CH2 connected to the functional carbon. Then this alcohol has one alkyl group, then this is a primary alcohol. Primary alcohol of the hydroxyl group is connected to carbon number one. That means its name is one alkanol, one propanol, one butanol, one pentanol, and so on. Secondary alcohols, the functional carbon is connected to two alkyl groups. Its general formula is R1CHOHR2. This is the functional carbon with the hydroxyl group. This functional carbon is connected to two alkyl groups, then it is secondary alcohol. Example 2 propanol, CH3, CHOH3. This is the functional carbon connected to two alkyl groups, CH3 from one side and CH3 from the other side, then this is a secondary alcohol. The position of the OH in secondary alcohol is different than one. That means two alkanol, three alkanol, and so on. Tertiary alcohols, the functional carbon is connected to three alkyl groups. Its general formula is R1, C, O, H, R2, R3. The functional carbon is connected to three alkyl groups. Example, 2 methyl, 2 propanol. This is the functional carbon with the hydroxyl group is connected to three CH3 group, the alkyl group, then it is a tertiary alcohol. From the name, we can know if the alcohol is tertiary or not. When we have an alkyl group, its number is the same as the number of the all, of the carbon holding the hydroxyl group. 2 methyl, 2 propanol, 3 methyl, 3 pentanol, for example, these are tertiary alcohols. Now, isomerism. 
the uh, first alcohol and second alcohol, yeah, that means CH3 and C2H5OH, have no alcohol isomers. The alcohol isomers start with the carbon chain of three, that means C3H. Eight O has two isomers. First, we put OH on carbon number one, CH three, CH two, CH two OH, and the second we change the position of the OH. We put OH on carbon number two, CH three. CH, CH3. This is one propanol, the first one. The second one is two propanol. These are the isomers of alcohol formed of the carbon. Now for four carbon, C4H10O has four isomers. The first, we put the four carbon on the uh, same chain, main chain form of four carbon, straight main chain, and we put OH on carbon number one. This is one butanol, butanol form of four carbon and OH on carbon number one. Uh, the second item, we keep the same carbon chain, but we change the position of the hydroxyl group. We put OH on carbon number two. We obtain this iron, CH3, CH2, CH, OH, CH3, uh, which is 2-butanol. If we put OH on this carbon, then this carbon becomes number two. It is the same as this isomer 2-butanol. Then for carbon chain form of four carbon, we have two isomers. Now, we change the carbon chain, we decrease one carbon from the carbon chain. The main carbon chain becomes formed of three carbon. The fourth carbon is a branch alkyl group. We put it inside the carbon chain, not at the uh, peripheral carbon. The alkyl group should be inside the carbon chain, not at the peripheral carbon. First possibility, we put OH on carbon number one. This is one propanol and we have methyl on carbon two. Two methyl, one propanol. Second possibility, we change the position of OH. We put OH on carbon number two. We obtain this isomer, CH3, COH, CH3, CH3 which is 2-methyl 2-propanol. The first is primary alcohol because the functional carbon has one alkyl group, then the primary. The second, this is the functional carbon, is connected to two alkyl group. It is a secondary alcohol. The third, this is the functional carbon holding the hydroxyl group, is connected to one alkyl group, then it's a primary alcohol. The third, fourth, this is the functional carbon, is connected to three alkyl group, then it is a tertiary alcohol. We can know the class of the alcohol from the number of hydrogen atoms connected to the functional carbon. If the functional carbon has at least two hydrogen atoms, then primary. If it has only one hydrogen atom, then it is secondary. If it has no hydrogen atoms, then it is tertiary alcohol. Now, application three, write the condensed structural formula of all alcohol isomers of C5H12O. C5, first we put 
carbon chain formed of five carbons straight carbon chain we put single bond between carbon atoms because our study is only for saturated alcohols OH on carbon number one first possibility second possibility we put we change we call, we keep the carbon chain of five but we change the position of OH we put OH on carbon number two third possibility also we keep the carbon chain but we change the position of hydroxyl group we put it now on carbon number three if we put it on carbon number four if we put OH on this carbon it's the same as it becomes the carbon number two is the same as this isomer but and if we put on carbon number five it is the same as uh, this carbon it becomes carbon number one then the chain of five has only three isomers now we change the carbon chain carbon chain now formed of four carbon the fifth carbon we put it on one carbon inside this carbon or this carbon the same we put ch3 now or c later we continue the chain with the hydrogen with hydrogen atoms then uh, now the we change we keep the carbon chain but we change the position of oh first we put oh on this carbon which is carbon number one then we keep the same carbon chain formed of four and same position of alkyl group but we change the position of OH now we put OH on carbon number two we keep the same carbon chain we change the position of OH now on this carbon that becomes carbon number two and the last possibility of chain of four we put OH on carbon number one we keep the alkyl group in same position if we put OH on this carbon the same as this carbon uh, now we change the carbon chain the carbon chain becomes formed of three the carbon number four and carbon number five are alkyl group on, uh, and on the carbon number two and OH if we put it on this carbon or this carbon or this carbon or this carbon the same it is the carbon number one these are the isomers of C5 now we uh, complete the formula with hydrogen atoms we know that each carbon should make four single bonds and the bond between carbon atoms are only single bonds then we continue the bonds with hydrogen atom this carbon ha makes one bond it needs three more bonds then we add H3 this carbon makes two bonds it needs two more bonds we add CH2 the same for the other CH2 CH2 H2. Now, this carbon CH3, CH2, CH2. This carbon is bonded to three other atoms. It needs one more bond with the hydrogen atom, one hydrogen atom. This is CH3. Now, for this isomer CH3, CH2, CH, CH2, CH3. The same for other isomers CH3, 1H, H3, CH3, 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 CH3. CH, CH3, and CH3. 
CH3, CH3, CH2, CH3. This carbon makes four bonds, then, then it does not need hydrogen atom. CH2, H, H3, H2, and H3. CH3, peripheral atoms or CH3. Now, the name, we should write the systematic name and the class of each one. The first one, pentanol, 5 carbon pentanol and on carbon 1, 1 pentanol. It is a primary alcohol since the functional carbon is connected to one alkyl group. HC class is primary. Second one, uh, also pentanol, but on carbon two, two pentanol. And it is secondary since the functional carbon is connected to two alkyl group, secondary alcohol. The third is three pentanol and it is secondary also. The third is one, two, three, four, the main chain format of four carbon and does one alkyl group. It's uh, one butanol OH on carbon one, one butanol and all, uh, and we have methyl on carbon one, two, three, three methyl, one butanol. Its class is primary since one alkanol, then primary. This is uh, two butanol and three metal. This is the correct direction of numbering. Then three metal, two butanol. It is secondary alcohol. This is two butanol. Now this is the direction of numbering, the direction that gives the lowest number of OH group. And we have metal on carbon two, two metal, two butanol. It is tertiary alcohol sense since the functional carbon has the alkyl group. Or from the name, we have the name of the number of methyl or alkyl group, same as the number of alkanol, then it is tertiary alcohol. The, this isomer is one butanol and two methyl, two methyl, one butanol. It is one butanol, then primary alcohol. The last one is, this is the main chain format of three carbon, all on carbon one, one propanol, and we have two metal on carbon number two, then two, two dimethyl, one propanol. It is a primary alcohol, one alkanol. These are the isomers of C5H10. Now, physical properties. 
when the molar mass of an alcohol or any compound, chemical compound, increases, the boiling point increases. Then the boiling point depends on the mass of the compound, the same for alcohol. Then the boiling point, for example, the boiling point of ethanol, which is C2H5OH, is 78.5 degrees bigger than the boiling point of methanol, which is CH3OH, which is 65 degrees. The molar mass of ethanol bigger than the molar mass of ethanol, so that the boiling point of ethanol bigger than the boiling point of methanol. The same if we compare the boiling point of butanol with the boiling point of ethanol, Butanol point of four carbon, uh, its molar mass bigger than uh, that of ethanol point of two carbon, then the boiling point of butanol is bigger than that of ethanol. Now, for the same molar mass, the boiling point of primary alcohol bigger than that of secondary alcohol, bigger than that of tertiary alcohol. That means for isomers, the primary alcohol uh, have bigger boiling point than that of secondary and bigger than that of tertiary alcohol. For example, tertiary uh, boiling point of one butanol, which is primary, 117 uh, degree, bigger than boiling point of two butanol, which is secondary, which is 99.5, bigger than boiling point of two metal two propanol, which is tertiary alcohol equal to 83 degree. Now, for the same molar mass, boiling point of alcohol is bigger than boiling point of ethers. Alcohols and ethers have same molar mass. Why? Due to the presence of hydrogen bond between alcohol molecules. What is the hydrogen bond? This alcohol, the bond between O and H is polar bond. That means the oxygen atom has a negative charge, partial negative charge, delta negative, which is the negative pole of the bond, and the hydrogen atom has positive charge, delta plus, which is the positive pole. For the second alcohol, also the oxygen atom is the negative pole, and the hydrogen atom is the positive pole. We know that negative and positive undergo attraction. Then we have attraction force between the hydrogen atom of one alcohol, of the hydroxyl group of one alcohol, and the oxygen atom of the hydroxyl group of other alcohol. They are connected by this bond, which is called hydrogen bond. Then another uh, alcohol also connected to this, and another alcohol also connected by hydrogen bond, then the alcohols are connected between each other with hydrogen bond. So that to transform the alcohol from liquid state to gaseous state, we need to break down this bond, the hydrogen bond, then we need more energy, that means we need more heat to transform the alcohol from liquid state to the gaseous state. In ethers, we have no polar bonds, then we have no hydrogen bond attraction between molecules. Each molecule is alone, then the only energy needed is the energy needed for its molar mass, its mass. While in case of hydrogen, uh, we need energy for its mass and energy to break down the hydrogen bond so that the energy needed for in case of alcohol bigger than that 
in case of ether so that the boiling point for alcohol is bigger than boiling point of ether for same molar mass. For example, boiling point of ethanol C2H5OH, which is 78.5 degrees, bigger than boiling point of dimethyl ether for same molecular formula. This is C2H6O and this is C2H6O. Same molar mass, same mass, but uh, this is alcohol, has higher boiling point than the ether due to the presence of hydrogen bond in case of alcohols and absence of hydrogen bond in case of ether. Boiling point of ether is minus 225 degrees. That means it is gas at ambient temperature while ethanol is liquid. This is the end of part two of chapter nine, alcohol.